Hi everybody, we're here at the Alma College Dance Department. We've got dancers working in small groups. These dancers have self-selected these groups based on common goals that they have. So they're working on strategies to improve on their goals as a group. So once we finish that small group discussion, we'll get the bars out and start dancing. Go Scott.
No, I got one nostril. It was one nostril and it was nothing. Nothing did feel it. Who told me it was two nostrils? I heard that somewhere too. It was not bad. I don't think that's it. Like, you have to go to the like, Oh, like maybe there's a BP or test in case. Okay. All right, the answer is let's have a nice, um, long, plie stretch marathon. Just the same that we did last week and last Tuesday. And um, I just invite you to be really active with your imagination and your mind's eye, your, your visualization cues that I'm working on. And, um, to just be longer and more relaxed, yet as strong as possible. Stronger, longer, and more released than ever before. That's the goal for today. Just a small goal. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Sean, let's have a one thing.
So that can be your Thank you. 
Inside legs and front, close, front, close, back, back, back. Uh, we're going to do one and a two, three and four. You can play with that thing we were just talking about um, with how much friction you put on the floor. Seven, close, eight, then to first, and two, for three, and a four. You can do your arm if you want. And then you'll close on eight here. Then you're ready for your convert for convert up. So, one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Okay, let me have fun with that. Did you catch that, Tom? Okay. Drop 
really keen. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's it. <laughs> I know. It does it feel weird up on here? Okay. No, like my shoulders yeah. are down. Yeah, okay. 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 I'm, I'm um, maybe we can, maybe we do want to have a little heavy shoulder blades for this as well. But not to the point where it weighs you down, but to the point where they're just sliding you down your back. If I could put two other people on your back, that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, um, but at the same time, um, I'm wondering if just the aesthetics of, of that second position, if we could make more of like that idea that a drop of water would go there instead of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe um, in your can you maybe lengthen out your your yes? I'm glad you understand these like because I'm not <laughs> articulating very well. But we want to see like if there was an eye on the inside of your elbows and an eye on the inside of your palms, we do want to see both of those at times, which is makes my arms feel weird. Yeah, just try that. And we want it to be. I mean. I'm a short person, a dancer that always wanted to make myself look bigger on stage. And so it was important for me to use every centimeter of energy and, um, you know, finger length that I had instead of letting them melt and fall. I really was always trying to be great. Yeah. Can I see your palms? Okay. All right. Hey, let's practice some flip flag turns with the bar. So we'll go toward the bar. And yeah, I was thinking about the way that I learned these um, was that the first part of the flip was really about getting momentum. And then the flat was about um, pushing up into relevé. And that helps me get momentum. So this was kind of about, I'm going to go this way. And this was about, I'm going to get up onto my relevé. So, flip, come on, flat, press into the right Yep, yeah. we're doing the inward, the on the down to the back, where you start with your flip to the front and your flat to the back. And you're going towards the standing leg instead of towards the front. Yes. Yeah. And I am plie, plie relative. Plie, the flag is the I'm sure there are other Then you're just going to take two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we are trying to straighten our legs at the same time. So that is, we take that on clock. So you kind of have to, from your farm, you can pay, you kind of have to take this hip into um, attitude. Then you straighten both your legs at the same time. Okay? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so we tend to want to straighten our standing leg first. So this is just another one of those things 
where we're gonna try. It's a point. Yeah. Yep, and you don't even have to close it. We'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a lot of time gonna be on your steering wheel. Okay. Okay, so you've got a time for stretch, eight counts on quad, two front and coupe de bouquet on quad, they turn it. Okay.
Oh, sorry, I was not going to say 
sure that you're not getting into that business with a lot of people? Look at the end of the book. At the end of the combination of men and six. and we'll do that crazy jumping sequence that we did. And we'll face this thing. So, um, we go.
What a mess you up too much if we started on the left this time? No, that was a good time. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's real good for your brain to do that. So left then right. Are we ready? <laughs> Actually, if you want to try stuff, those of you who are injured, if you want to try and work on stuff that's, that's, that's about, you know, your center, the short distance here, the long distance back here, um, spend your time on the floor being active that way, if it doesn't hurt too much, yeah. um, that would maybe be a really good use of your time. <laughs> Okay, let's go from over here.
I say that that idea that instead of Pompeii Potter and Sap, and then kind of humor is going on, Pompeii Potter is going to be a man. You know what I mean by finish on Monday? Have you seen Dan Padilla? It's been pretty fun when he's done captains for you. But it's that idea that maybe you're going to go, instead of doing a double, you're going to go. Single sack and pull. So like there's a there's a moment. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Can you just come out and study those two things for yourself? So that instead of taking on from a static position here, you're actually gonna release down and die up. And then the second thing is that you by the last turn I was racing the down. You, you go five and the six and the seven and the eight. That's so crazy. Yeah, try that. Ready? <laughs> so the five and the six and the seven, that's your um, Tom Bay pot of Wrigley side front of tape. And then landing out of that after this big round of tape, kind of just swivel and get there. Yep. Can you go over the whole thing? I will, yeah. Let's just go over that transition and then we'll start at the top. So, ready? So you're you're doing combe, how do you do the side, jet, Okay, from the top, you can do the top. So your first PPR rest will happen here at your entry point. Yeah. You just have to go So you're here. Chasse, grand jeté on top. Chasse, grand jeté. Then from here, you just step up. Step up, step up, step up. Then you've got step up. Step up. Thank you. 
will actually be in quasi fifth. Let's try this one. 